Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. So today's video is going to be how I have straightened my hair with volume. So this is basically how I do my hair if I want my hair to look um, like I've had a fresh blow dry and it hasn't been straightened. There is a certain way of doing it. So if you are interested in this video then do please stick around and obviously if you are new around here I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button. I upload twice a week on a Monday and a Friday and I do all sorts of videos. So yeah, if you like the look of my channel, then please do stick around. But yeah, let's get on with the video. So guys, starting off, this is my hair rough dried. This hasn't been um, done with my Revlon hair dryer. This has just been my normal, normal hair dryer. And um, so as you can tell, my hair is very, very coarse. It's very, very wiry. And yeah, so today I'm going to straighten it, but I'm going to straighten it with volume. I sometimes like my hair super straight. Sometimes I like it to have a little bit of a flick and a little bit of a almost looking like I've had a blow dry. Um, so I just figured I'd show you what I'm going to do. Right, I'm just going to spray my heat defence. This is the Tresemme. Are you going to focus? There you are. This is the Tresemme Keratin Smooth. Um, I do have keratin treatments in my hair. However, they are well and truly out of my hair now. And I can't have keratin treatments at the moment. So, okay, so I'm just going to literally just spray sections of my hair now it's at this point where you guys realize that actually you girls who have straight hair who want curly hair no you don't <laughs> um, because honestly it's a mess one thing I would change about myself is my hair someone said you can change anything about yourself it would be my hair Right, so, and then just like I say, so that's all done, don't have to worry about that, that is now, my hair is protected from the heat, does it say how much up to, no, um, but it is a heat protect spray, oh 230 celsius, so 230 degrees, okay so I've got my mirror here, um, so I just section my hair, I do quite small sections because my hair, like I say, is very coarse, wiry. If your hair is more straight and really you just need the straightness to just go over it slightly, then um, do that. So always just brush the section and then just go in with my straightener. This is just the GHD's big plate. These are about seven years old, maybe eight. Um, they did die at one point, but my father-in-law fixed them for me. Right, so, and then I just literally just flick it in. Do you see how that's like got a little bit of a curl to it? And then grab this section here. And then just do the same thing. I don't use a comb, I never have done. Um, just because I don't, I just find it's really faffy and I don't, yeah. So just like that. And then just move on to the next section. Um. Take the section, give it a good little brush, just move those hairs up and grab the plate and then literally just lift that plate, lift that straightener up as you're pulling and it will give a lot of volume. Um, so it's always nice and it's, don't be kind of peed off if it kind of flicks out in different ways as well, that just kind of adds to it, makes it look like say you've had a blow dry. I have to get quite close to my root um, because my roots are really curly. So. I've always had these straighteners um, just because I just think they're absolutely brilliant for, um, for thick hair like myself and for people who have curly hair and who just don't have necessarily the time to like, you know, <sighs> really take their time on their straightening okay so you can see how that's kind of flicking in at the moment i've got loads of hair growth from um when i have my baby who's now two but <laughs> it's still growing in so that's the annoying bits that look a little bit shorter okay so right these sections for me are a pain in the bum so i really have to take 
small pieces and you see how this hair is so short it doesn't grow that does not grow at all it drives me mad hairdressers are always fascinated when they see my hair because they're like it just kind of grows in all different ways and right so okay super curly at that root so again just a straighten kind of the roots part because I don't want any lift at my root guys the reason why I don't want lift is because I have a lot of lift I I haven't today but um I can just rough dry my hair upside down and my hair is huge it literally looks like it's trying to take over the world um, so yeah so I don't need any help on that route at all but if you do struggle and you have fine hair lift at that route to literally just pull and lift and that'll like I say give you that really gorgeous kind of volumized look but I definitely don't need that. I have enough lift as it is. Right. Okay, and again, this section here, which drives me mad. If I have weird lines on my head, it's because my hairdresser has just been to do my roots. She's a godsend. <laughs> I used to do on myself and oh you just miss parts you can have to do it and do it yourself better than an actual hairdresser right so just this front section I'm taking it because it's irritating me so I'm just gonna literally just pull that down I don't need again I have cow's lick at the front so I don't need any sort of help with that cow's lick it does its thing as you can tell um, so yeah, don't need any help with that. You see how that section here is still lifting? And that is because it is just... It has so much natural volume, which is great. It is good because my hair does hold the volume as well. But it's a bit of a pain at times. I will be doing an updated routine of my Revlon hair dryer as well because I now do that slightly differently and it gives me loads of volume but I decided to do my straightening today. Um, right so again I'm not going too roundy with this bit just because they're shorter bits so pull that down and then grab that section. Bending that straightener in, giving that lift a little bit. And then back section. My back section is absolutely fine. It's always my sides that are just really bad hair. Just not nice hair at all. I'd love straight hair. I'd love to be able to just, even if it had just a little wave to it, like a slight kink, but just, just dry straight. That's why I love my keratin treatment so much. They're so good. They just take so long to do. That's the problem. Um. Right. So. And then this section here again is an absolute pain. So I'm just pulling that straightener down and just getting those hairs in check. Okay. Just pay particular attention, like I said, to your roots. Especially if you've got roots like mine that are really like kinky and curly at the root. Um, because you can always tell like there's nothing worse than seeing someone with really gorgeous straight hair and their roots are like really kinky 
so okay so again just give it a little brush and then just literally turn it in slightly I have slight um, slight layers at the front that always helps like I say with volume um, and just kind of gives it a nice kind of flicked in look like so my hair is very frizzy today it's not I'm happy I, I washed it too hot water I shouldn't have done, I should have washed it in much cooler water. Right, so. section like I say the good thing with these big plate straighteners is I know cloud nine do one and GHD still do the um, big plates is they you can grab big bigger sections so it doesn't take as long um which is always good right okay so and then just this section here Again, really awful hair, really short pieces that just don't really grow very much. Okay, so. Sorry if you can hear my tummy. Ow. Right, so this section. So just give it a comb. Um, as you start getting further up the hair, if you are in a rush, obviously try your best with all of the hair, but your top section is your most important section because that's what most people can see. So if you're in a rush always just pay particular attention mainly to the top part of your hair um, like I said that this is why I like these type of straighteners because if you are in a rush you can get it done quite quick um, this hasn't taken me too long 30 minutes so far and I'm nearly done so it just shows you how good they are um, I will leave a link in the description um, of like basically the GHD versions of these now like I said these are old now but they do still have their big plates for girls like myself okay so again just making sure at that root um, sometimes I just go over it a few times and then I kind of like grab that section and then start like pulling it in a little bit just because it just straightens and smooths it and then you kind of are then putting the flick in at the end kind of you can obviously do it the other way you can flick it out if you want must admit I'm not partial to that look I don't really like it but some people do so if you do like it like that then that's good Um. part again or I always envy all these girls who have like amazing hair that's just like thick long and just amazing I just was not blessed with hair like that my sister's got hair like that she's got lovely hair um, beautifully curly hair as well 
do not. Okay, what are you doing? I don't know what you're doing. Okay, so can you see how it's all kind of flicking in? I'm wearing the worst top for this type of video because it's black and I've kind of got really dark hair. Um, so yeah, so we just, like I say, um, just got this last section to do now. Um, so yeah, let's pull this down. So this bit, this is always a problem area for me as well because I have, I think I have like, different growth patterns all over my head and I think at the back here I have cow's licks um, so I have to kind of pay attention to the way that the hair lays otherwise it sits up and sits really weird um, I've always been like I say my hair's always been like that I'm glad I'm not a boy I would have hated my hair if I was a boy right so okay so just pulling that in like I say just giving that a little bit of lift taking this section here now this is where you need to pay particular attention because this is the part that people see um, you want it to all lay lovely and yeah okay right so then take this section here um, as you can most probably tell, I'm taking very, very small sections now. So this is just because, like I say, it's the top of the hair. So the top of the hair, you really do have to pay particular attention to. Otherwise, it just looks a mess. You, you can have it as lovely as anything underneath, but if the top section looks a mess and looks rushed and looks kinky and looks kind of a little bit fuzzy in areas, then that is because you have not paid enough attention to it. Um, yeah, so... That is key. Okay, so again, just taking my brush and pulling that um, sorry if you can hear my son is downstairs with his dad. Grumpy. Okay, so last section now. So right, split this into two sections again because I have a lot of lift at the root. This hair, like I say, my hair is classed as coarse, wiry, um, not very nice hair, guys. <laughs> I wish I was blessed with beautiful, silky hair, but no. Unfortunately not. Right, so, last bit. So then there you go. So that's all kind of done. You can kind of, if you wanted, you could take the front section here and really kind of, kind of go, almost flick it in. And so it kind of flicks out. You could do that um, to give it just a little bit more of a kind of a wave. Um, but yeah, so that has taken me 18 minutes. Um, from start to finish and like I say it's just given me that kind of blow dried type look um, and then afterwards you can if you wanted to you could put hair, dry hair, hair dryer hairspray in your hair I don't like hairspray in my hair it does not stick right it makes it fly away fuzzy and it just never ever works so I just don't like it in my hair whatsoever so yeah, so, but this is like I say, the finished product, um, it's just giving your hair just a little bit of um, a boost and like I say, if you've got, if you suffer with um, not being able to get volume at the root, then maybe put a little bit of big sexy um, volume powder in there and just give it a little bit of a shake or a little trick is to take sections underneath and spray dry shampoo and give it a little bit of a zhuzh as well and that will do the trick as well but yeah guys so what do you think i quite like um but yeah so i hope that you've enjoyed this video if you have do forget do forget don't forget to give it a massive thumbs up and i will see you in my next video thank you so much for watching